Schaukel Story. Petru Story. Babé ist ein Tuch Story. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. A mother was talking to a daughter. And the conversation was spiritual. Spiritual. The spirit was there. And she said, There is a life on earth. There is a life after we die. She believes there is a life. Based on Bible or not, she said, there is a life. You know, my daughter, there is a life. She knew her daughter, even at seven years old, can understand everything. She was a special child that exists, eh? Special child. Special child. And then she said, There is another life. There is another life. There is another life. Remember, there is another life. And that life. We don't know. Nobody knows in details how is it. Nobody knows in details how is it. Now remember, there is another life. Another life. It's great. To know there is another life was taking the child. There is another life. Yes. It's hopeful to think there is another life. Why not? We are born on earth. I'm thinking myself. Why not? We are born on earth. We didn't, we didn't know we are born. We didn't know what's going on. We are we were born. We were. We were born. We were we were born. That's a miracle. We were born on earth. We have an adaptation to that kind of life. We learn it. Some of them painfully, some of them easily. We learn a new kind of life. Is that beautiful? We see everything on earth. We didn't think about the spiritual meaning of that. The spiritual meaning of that. And then I come back to that mother. He said, There is another life. Okay? There is another life. When we die, 
will not really die. You are like uh, not dying. People can see you are dying, but you are not dying. You are changing, changing life, changing the kind of life you are changing. Those who believe are not sad. When they know something about there is another life. There is another life. That is a fool to take it like that. So what happened? What happened? I mean, now, uh, you know, life, what oh, difficulties and difficulties, difficulties and difficulties, uh, we get lost somewhere. You might lose faith. This is understandable. That happens to everybody. That happens to everybody. The grandma came to take care of the daughter, the granddaughter, and then Diseases are coming, diseases are there. Everybody got one. Diseases are out there. A little child could not understand why we got disease. Yeah. Disease are on earth. They are there. They are there. If we cannot do anything about it, we can do something about it. Some disease. We need to take care of yourself. I'm thinking right now. Some disease you need to take care of yourself. It takes courage to take care of yourself, right? And the grandma came into the picture with more, more light, more light. To explain, she is uh, Catholic, she like she knows about the Bible, she knows about what's going on, and uh, at some extent, she can explain something to the granddaughter. She said, you see, me? When I am getting older and I become diabetic, I never, I always want to take care of myself, but I'm, I'm diabetic. But we can manage it. We can, they say we can manage it. You don't have to be, to be sick, 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 sick. We can manage it. That's a good news. We can manage it. I embrace that good news. We have to embrace the good news. Some disease you can manage it that to take you from for God. To take you, you got to say to God, to address God. And you got to take that opportunity because you want to live for your family. That's an intent that Grandma wants to tell the child, you got to live for your family. You got to live on earth. There is a time you got to change life. You change life. Oh, but you don't have any control on that. Any control. That's okay. It was a simple conversation. Simple conversation. 
but that Charles Bishop I never forgot. Yeah, she forgot a little bit, but she got the, the seeds, that seed planted on her, like kind of preparation. And then, uh, my mother got sick. She is okay. Her uncle got sick. He is not okay. Because many diseases come everywhere. We don't know when they are coming. They are coming. People are getting depressed. People are getting like. Mm, tired of everything. So, people around her are getting down. Because what is happening? What is so much sadness is around us? So much sadness. So many people are dying. So, People are dying. So the mom lost faith and then she is starting to say, Oh, I, I, I don't feel like eating. I feel like I'm starving to die. I don't really feel like eating. Each person you see dying you on you. Is if it is a friend or a family, I feel like I get so connected and I lose faith. And she was sincere saying that. And then when she got to announce to that little daughter that she got a death. But that word is too big to say to her six or seven years old to death. But she, don't forget she's a special child to death. That's a bad word to say. You don't die. But it's, it's the way she's feeling. She's feeling. You got to know if you got a family member that is dying. You got to say goodbye. You have to. Hey, when the person is dying like that, you can tell the child how to tell the child the mommy got a lot of problem to announce that truth one day she got to know mm, she got to know because everybody has to go yes everybody has to go at some point the child has to know this is my tough i think at school they should have a counselor to teach kids what is about dying because so many people are dying outside we got many death from the virus a member of family get get to die oh when do i know this the child you got to say goodbye to a member of the family saying goodbye why uh, your uncle or auntie, uh, uh, a member of family is dying for some reason. A grandma, a grandpa, a member is dying. Can I say goodbye while I'm here on the phone? Because that child is feeling something is going to happen. Because she knew that person was sick. Everybody is talking about that. Everybody is crying about that. When you got that virus, you don't. Some people fighting. They give up on their lives like that, depending on the, the disease you got before. So it's a difficult, difficult task to announce the child. You will not see that person again. But seeing, I feel like I am starving to die too. Say yes, 
Mommy, I don't see you eating anything except drinking coffee. I don't see you eating anything except drinking coffee. Oh, drinking coffee a lot and you don't eat. I can't eat. I don't have appetite. But your grandma has faith. Grandma's are listening. Was listening the conversation, and then the grandma to say, "Nobody has to cry when I will die." Because I know for sure there is a second life. Yes, I don't have a lot of knowledge on Bible, but I can observe the nature to see there is a second life. God is so powerful, so powerful. Nobody knows what the kind of life we have. So we stay attached to that life. We stay attached to the life we know. What we know is stay attached to it to feel secure. But my granddaughter, you can talk to God. I got that experience. If you have a sadness, that kind of sadness is your life, talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. God will bring you peace in your heart. I got that experience for sure. When I talk to God, when something is too bad, it's too big, I talk to God. You can talk to God. He will bring you peace. It's what you need the most, the peace. It looks like the child is still thinking, crying. Oh, you have to starve. It looks like she said, so I can starve myself to die. No, you can starve yourself to die. Is it why mommy say I feel like starving myself to die? It is a phase of uh, depression after you got someone die for COVID-19 uh, or from, some, from something else and the sadness is, and then you don't know what you are saying and the child is listening so you feel like really uncomfortable in your own skin so not the time for somebody to touch you to hug you you don't feel comfortable so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult moment but the child is observing all those little cues to understand what's going on because nobody will tell that child that the person is dead it's a big word okay we say he's dying but he's dying forever and everybody's crying and then you can surprise a person when when they are crying why everybody is sad so that child special child intelligent child is, is thinking 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 Something is wrong. Something is wrong with everybody. Something is wrong. Yes, something is wrong. Something is really wrong. And then, but the, what? When the grandma make uh, is making the connection between what we don't know up there in the sky somewhere, what we don't know. And what we know on the earth, she thinks that makes sense. We don't know. She accepts we don't know. We know that. But the grandma will add, everybody got the time to go. I am diabetic. I know if I eat too much, it's not good. I'm watching myself to not eat too much. You got that up and down you got up and down and then meaning you are fighting you are fighting up and down you are fighting like you don't eat too much to make you sick to die you don't starve yourself to die too 
and the grandma to say because she got the knowledge from Catholic Church she said no we call that a sin only God can call you to die you cannot want to die it has to be only a feeling that you you will not like feed you will not feed you want to not feed that feeling hmm? you want to not feed that feeling then we look a one we look a one who, who, who see everybody is dying that is depressing right that is depressing and people get depressed get depressed if i get depressed yes i get depressed all the time i get depressed but i got god when i look up i talk to god and the god sent something on me to make me like faithful to know there is another kind of life there is another kind of life everybody got to turn so the grandma said to the kid everybody got a turn to go we don't go before your turn we don't go before our turn we don't go before our turn that little child thinks that's that, that is she feels like she got in a, a big insight she feels like it has to be true you cannot stop yourself to die and then she was starting crying with that word but when she understand everybody got a turn to got the time to go and the grandma said if i die nobody would not cry i agree nobody cry and some people even say if i am if i die make a pot make a pot me i think if i if i die i will be on the sky somewhere with god praying praying for everyone praying blessing people ask god to bless their work we need we need that we need that blessing your work and i think since my i'm talking about myself since my mom died i think she's on the sky she each time i think about her i get more courage it looks like she's controlling she's still controlling i can feel it i can feel it so meaning there is another life i feel there is another life take care of yourself don't be depressed there is another life that is beautiful more beautiful than that life doesn't mean you got to kill yourself to go you got to take care of yourself to live for your family get the most you can get for that kind of life you have now because the only god can decide when you no, don't forget only god can decide can decide when you have to go not you not you at all so the baby the little girl got that and if she takes she wants to talk to her mom she can do it the grandma say yes you can do it i think i feel like god right now is with you and then the spirit of god is there the spirit of god will tell you exactly what to say to your mom to make her feel better to cure her about the bad thoughts and then she believe it she's so crying because now she understands something and then she said to her mom you see even me i am nothing compared to god but i got imagination i create stuff i always creating so God created us. And then when you look at the beautiful flowers, I got a cat that I love so much. 
my beautiful cat. Huh? We look at the world of so many beautiful stuff. Said the person, he has some really a hand behind those that, that create all kind of natural stuff. So that has to be true. And if God is so powerful, he can create a different life for us. But you got to go at your time, mommy. You can starve yourself to die. You got to go on your time. Me, I want you. I love you. I love you. I want you stay there. So when I become older, I got you to imitate you, to know how to, to go on in life because you are so beautiful. I want to imitate you. I want you there. I want you there. Oh, God, I say, what a beautiful baby to say that. And then I say, yes, yes, I am grandma. I'm living for you. I'm living for you, my daughter. All my grandchildren, I'm living for you. Mm? I'm living for you because we can translate. You can like uh, pass to the kids what you are like, uh, even though you die and then your, your, your spirit stay with the kids, your information, your instruction. It's like in another life that continue to, in another way life can continue. So uh, uh, you can take uh, many ways. The life can keep going, keep flowing, keep flowing. You don't have to be, to be sad. And uh, yes, uh, the little girl understand that. Uh, she feels it. Yes, she feels it. So, you live for somebody that you love. You want to make effort on your life to protect that body, that person that you like. That you like. It's important. It's, 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 it's an important thing. And that uh, the love, the love of, uh, of that child talking like, Oh, it's like it's like the spirit of God. I feel the I know when the spirit of God is, is there. I know. That grandma knows. I know. When I got to the Catholic Church, when you go to when the prayer is fervent, we can feel when when the spirit of God is there. So the grandma feels that spirit and that child and say, You got a mission right now. You got a mission. Don't see your age. You got a mission right there. Talk, talk, talk. And then she's talking. She's talking. She's talking with her heart. She's talking. She's talking. And she said, Mommy, you have to listen. Forget about your problem. I need to talk to you. You need to listen right now. Close your phone. Listen. Listen. I know you got to call. Close your phone. I need to talk to you. Don't be sad. Me, one day, I am dying. If I die, if I'm dying, I die, I will go. If you are dying, you die, you go. We will meet over there. There is another life. And there is another life. Beautiful life. Beautiful life. But you don't go like that. God has to call you. And you got to do whatever. You can to stick to that life for your for your loved ones. You don't you don't starve to die. You see that little girl make your mom cry and had a good cry, like she understand. That's just a so beautiful thing. The the way the child can tell. You see you see that is so beautiful. And the grandma to say you know what. When you see sadness around you, you all little girl don't understand. Go to pray God. You don't have to know too much about Bible. No, 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 no. You say to God, I am little. I know you are big. And I am little. I know you know stop God. I don't know stop. I know you got big knowledge. I don't have knowledge. So I leave you everything I don't understand. I leave you everything about my family, my dad, my mom, my grandma. 
And then, finally she said to Grandma, Grandma, even though I am, I will be sad. You are, you are beautiful things in life, Grandma. I don't, I don't want to think you, you can die. You no, know, Grandma said, no. Look at your hand. Look at my hands. My hands are getting not good. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see my hand? Look at your hand. Look at. Meaning, when you got that body, it's deteriorating. Meaning, it will be a time you have to go anyway. So when my time come, I have to go. Does not mean I leave you? I will be watching on you over there. I will be national. on you. In the winter time, come, you will meet one day. I agree. Because what I just, it is what I say to my, to my mom. My mom, and I stop crying when I say that. My mom, you will meet someday over there. Take courage. Take patience. When my time come, you will meet. See, this, this is the way you got to see death. Not like death. Because it's not death. When you take care of your child, your grandchildren, you pass on something. You will be, you will be continuating your life in that child. And your spirit will stay. So stay with good spirit. So you will be still alive. Stay in good spirit. Because and God visiting us is visiting us with we don't pay attention. And God, that day, I believe when you go and say that God has, vit has visited us, has visited, has visited the family, yes, through that child. And then after that, everybody gets better. Everybody gets better, we cry, we not cry. Because of that special child that was listening to God. And was talking and forget about her cry, forget about everything, and then she explained everything. She explained it to her mother that now there's a big hug to that child that deserves. Yes, she deserves. So for me, it looks like. We don't see it. Some light come from the sky, shh, magically transform that child. Yes. And she was saying things we don't understand. She said, Mommy, there is something called invisible. You don't see it. But it's there. It's there. It's there. There is an another life, you cannot see it, it's there. Even though you, your mom can, your, your father, whatever person you, 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 you lost, can see you and then you don't see that person. Maybe it's like that. Maybe it's like that. So we don't have eye to see everything. That's beautiful to hear. You know what I'm thinking? I know. I know that you got eye, you cannot see with your eye. That is true. Jesus was saying that. That eyes, that eye, those eyes are limited. You can even see the person can be there invisible. Doesn't have to bother you because it's the kind of love that person has. And that person can take care of you with God's wish. Because his God is good. Because you can feel. You can feel. If the person got a good spirit, you can feel that person is still continuing life around you. Maybe even me, I can say, Oh, Mama will do that. Mama will do that. And I got the courage to do it. Because Mama is doing that. The mama is still continuing something to me. You see that? So, this was a sharing. And I feel the Spirit of God. Enjoy. In the name of God. I talk. In the name of God. 
it was something spiritual really spiritual to help people when we got someone is dying yes 